Hello everybody, my name is Al from CyberLab and a few time ago I posted a video explaining how you can have external access for your server anywhere that you want. And I explained different options that you can use but I didn't explain so much which one's safe, which one's less safe and which option that you could use for your application. So in this way I decided to record a second step that I will compare Cloudflare Tunnel, that will scale you, and a VPN. This VPN that we're going to compare will be the Warring Guard only because it works similar with the Tail Scale. So after this video you can at least make a better decision, understand a little bit more about the conception of having the external access and that you can decide what will fit better for your needs. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider subscribing for the channel if you're not subscribed yet then Let's understand a little bit more about it. As I told, we're going to compare three different options to have access for a network. In this way, after this video, you can make the best decision. So if you guys come here on my screen, we're going to compare Cloudflare Tunnel, Dial Scale and VPN and try to understand which one that it's better and which one that will fit better for your needs. So first of all, let's try to understand what is the main idea to have a remote access. Remote access means that anywhere that you are, you can access your network or the applications that is in your network. Let's say that I live in England and that I want to go for, I don't know, Italy to visit there. And when I'm traveling, I want to have access for my documentation that's in my server to upload or download some pictures that's in my server to use my SNB to access something, some files using my laptop and without have this external access I will not be able to access those data. And this reason that become so interesting to have external access because it doesn't matter where you are as long as you have internet you can access your data the same way that you are in home or have a similar experience. And what is the main challenge? Make sure that when you access it all your data is safe secure, have a good performance and easy to configure it. You don't want that you open the port and let everyone to access your data because it's your private data and you want to keep it safe. This reason that you would like to create an encryption tunnel or something that will make sure that your data is encrypted until you arrive for you. Also you want to make sure that it's secure, it's really difficult to access and you're not going to spend hours and hours to do all this configuration. And in this way, I create this small table here. I have all the three options, the Cloudflare Tunnel, the Scale and the normal VPN. But let's focus first for the Cloudflare Tunnel. Let's make it bigger. And here, what is the idea for the Cloudflare Tunnel? It's meant to create a tunnel with exposed web service. What they're going to do, they will create a SSL certification that will allow that all your web apps will be accessible if you do the correct configuration. So let's say that you want to have an app for pictures. You can have this one use the SSL certification to have an external access for it. Let's say that you want to choose AMB. Without this, you only have local network use and if you use this tunnel, you can access your aim anywhere that you want. The same thing for Jellyfin, the same thing for any application that you have. WordPress, if you wanted to have a website and host in your house, you will still be able to do with the same setup. Other thing that's interesting, what guarantee this security and safe will be Cloudflare because they have a Cloudflare global infrastructure that will make that all your data is there. It's really easy to set up because basically you download application, add your API and that uh, you're gonna have access for this service and that you can configure the specific website, configure everything that you want. Only the problem, you need to have your website connect to the Cloudflare. You cannot use look like DuckDNS because they will not connect to the Cloudflare and make this too new. You need to add your website to the Cloudflare. Other thing that's really interesting, you don't need to open any port, you don't need to have a static IP, you don't need to do anything because as long as you use the API, if your sys restart your IP change, Cloudflare will detect it and will upload the records and that uh, 
will give this access for this application. Also, because they create a tunnel, you don't need to open any ports. You don't need to open port 8, 443, and that this make more secure your system. For authentication, you can use the Cloudflare authentication, you can create users, you can create a two-factor authentication, SSO, and other things to make your website secure and to be able to access it. Only the problem is that you only gonna be able to configure your web-based applications. If you wanted to have access for SNB, you're not gonna be able to do it. If you wanted to access SSH, no, you're not gonna be able to do it. As long as the application have a port and this port exposed for access it, you can access. If not, you're not gonna be able to access your system. What is the limitation for the Cloudflare tunnel? On the other side, if I go to TileScale, it's basically a VPN. Base a VPN, build on wearing card. What it means? It means that you gonna simulate that you are in a network and that you're gonna have basically access for everything that's your network. And it's really simple. The application you can only install different um, US, make the login, and that's it. You have a full access for all your device. It's really easy. You can use Google, Microsoft, GitHub, or either create a normal account using your email and that's access it later. And the device will behave exactly the same that you are in your network. Let's say that you want to access SSH. Yes, you can access exactly the same way. If you want to access SMB, yes, you can access it. Also, you can access any device that your network. So it's really good for have full access your system use your share files or file share and everything simulated that you are in your network. And the wearing guard or open VPN, the tradition VPN is will be really similar for this tile scale because you create a encrypted tunnel to your network. Basically simulate that your network either for any other device they will think that you are in your network. You need to do some extra configurations, let's say you need to open some ports, you need to do some configuration for wall, direct this port forwarding and make sure that everything is set up. You have more flexibility, but you need to configure everything for yourself. If it's not working, you are responsible for this VPN. If you want to add more users, you can add, but you are responsible to make all this configuration. They will create a full access to your private network, what will really simulate that you are in network. But remember, you need to have a static IP or you need to choose some application look like a dynamic DNS application that if your IP change, you will still be able to access using the new IP. And sometimes, principally for open VPN, the performance will be a little bit less. One in guard will be really good performance and it will work everything. The big limitations that you are responsible to maintain and you are responsible to update your system, you are responsible to make sure that it's safe. No company will be behind it. No one will be manage it on yourself. So to understand a little bit more, I try to put a little bit at the small table, what make a little bit comparison between the three options. Let's focus for security. Security, the security for Cloudflare Tunio, it's done by Cloudflare and it's really high because Cloudflare wants to make sure that all your data protect and they are a secured company and they want to make sure that uh, they keep this name. For the scale, it's really high because you're gonna use the warning guard as a base and that's use the SSO or two-factor authentication, other things to have access for the system. And here, the traditional VPN is really good depending on your configuration. If you use encryption keys, if you use uh, some configuration, yes, if you don't use those, will not be safe, but normally you need to use all those to be able to access what will make your system safe. For configuration, Cloudflare Tune is super easy, only install the application, copy your API and that's working. The same thing for the Tile Scale, only install the application, make the login and it's work. But for the traditional VPN, you need to configure everything yourself, you need to open the ports, firewalls and everything. In the type of access, remember, the more limited access will be the Cloudflare Tunnel because you only can access the applications or web apps. If your main ID is only to access web apps, let's say Nextcloud, Cloudflare Tunnel, let's say Nextcloud, and you have everything in Nextcloud, AMB, and other applications, yes, Cloudflare Tunnel will make everything for you. But if you wanted to access some device, your network, file share, and other things, the Telescale will be the best option. 
the same thing for the tradition VPN, what will give full access for a network and will simulate that you are in your network. Considering the needs of a static IP or at least some application that will track your new IP address, for the Cloudflare tool in TFSK you don't need to do it because this application will already manage it. For the traditional VPN, yes, you need to do it. You need to use DuckDNS or anything that every time that your IP change, it's required to update it. For the maintenance, Cloud Fortune and Tailscale, it's zero maintenance, you don't need to worry about it, everything will be done background by the companies, they'll keep it safe and will make secure and that's it. But for the traditional VPN, you need to maintain everything, you need to make sure that everything is controlled by yourself. For the cost, Cloud Fortune is free with some limitations, depending on how many ports that you use, how many tunnels that you use, will be completely free. The same thing for the tail scale if you are a personal user with limited amount of device and limited amount of uh, different accounts connect. But if you are a company, you're gonna need to buy this license and that you're gonna pay a fee per month for how many users that you have. In case of the traditional VPN, it's free or pay. Most of them is free and you can have as many users as you want, as many configurations as you want. Everything is under your control. So, Let's try to see where I want to choose it case. So for the cloud fair tunnel would be more basic case if I only want to choose web apps. I want to expose some applications without need to open any port. I want to choose WordPress to have my website. I want to use AMB to have my stream. I want to use, uh, I don't know, Nextcloud to have my data access anywhere. This will be good for the Cloudflare tunnel. But if you want the next step, you want to have more application, you want to access your network, Cloudflare tunnel will not be the best option. Then will come the Telescale, which will give access for all the applications inside your system and will simulate it. But you have some limitation. You're gonna have uh, all the control done by the Cloudflare tunnel. What? Uh, you don't have a full control for a system. You have limited numbers of accounts that you can connect, but you're gonna have better control for your system than the Cloudflare tool. And the traditional VPN, you need more configuration. It's more complex for you to do, but you have a full control for everything. You know what's going on. You can open, close. You know that only you have access for your information. Only you have access for your key. So will be full control, full guarantee for yourself. You don't need to worry about anything. Only you and the final user will have access for your data. Which case that each application will be better for me? I will say that you don't have a best application or worst applications depend off your needs. If you want to have a low maintenance, you don't need to worry about anything, only install and run it. Cloudflare Tunnel and TSK will be the best option. But if you need to have full access for your network, Telescale and the traditional VPN will be the best option. And if you want to have a full control of your system, you don't want that no one knows what is going on, no one has access for anything, the traditional VPN will be the best option, what will guarantee full control, full management, and only you know what is going on, no one else, but you are responsible to maintain this data safe. So in this way, we arrive at the end of the video. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like. Consider subscribing for the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And see you next time. Bye.